Philippines announced Friday its official candidates, who will vie for the crown and represent the country in the 2020 Miss Universe pageant. The new owner of the Miss Universe franchise in the country, Miss Universe Philippines Organization, introduced as a red carpet event its 52 official candidates including a couple of pageant returnees, Miss Globe 2018 representative and professional volleyball player Michelle Gumabal, and Binabining Pilipinas 2018 candidate Sandra Lemonon. Billy Hackinson, a flight attendant representing the historical capital of the Philippines, the province of Cavite. At number 10, Kimberly Hagenson. Kimberly Hagenson was 26 years of age from Cavite. She is former Miss World Philippines 2019. Ends up to top 12 placement. My name is Isabella Rojas Ismael. I was working in business development and I'm proudly representing Paranaque City. At number 9, Maria Isabella Smile. Isabella is a 24-year-old ballerina at Hampton Court Ballet. Bella graduated from the De La Salle University with a degree in psychology. She is a mix of Filipina, Spanish and Lebanese. The diva is the granddaughter of former actress Marita Zobel and niece of the country's second Miss Universe Margarita Moran. Isabella Blanche Bella Roxy's a smile is an on and off vlogger who likes makeup, skin care and dressing up. She feels that beauty pageants are a perfect stage where she can voice out her opinions and she likes to blog about it too. Bella is no new to the pageantry as she has previously won Bini Binning Paranaki back in 2014. She has also participated in Century Tuna Superbot Ageless 2018 where she was placed as the first runner-up and at number 8. Paula Madrieta Ortega. Paula Madrieta Ortega is a full-blooded Filipino who was born and raised in Spain from a Bicolana and Ilocano parents. She graduated with a degree in medical laboratory technician as she had been very interested in biology. However, she's currently taking up nursing at the University of Barcelona because she wants to become more interactive and immersed with people. She had been working as laboratory assistant at St. Paul Hospital of Barcelona. Likewise, she used to be an English teacher for children when she was only 18. More so, she had already started her modeling career at age 16. Ortega joined a pageant for the first time through Miss Bicolandia 2017. She ended up at first runner-up and had represented the Philippines at the Global Model of the Year 2017 in Portugal, where she was awarded with the Popularity Award. Maajong hapo ninyo tanan. Good afternoon. I am Pauline Picharo Amlings, a retail and sales consultant, proudly representing the very beautiful island province of Bohol. At number 7. Pauline Amelinks. One such beauty for serious consideration is Pauline Amelinx from Bohol for sash purposes and looking so gorgeous in the Something Gold photo shoot in this entry. This half Filipina, half Belgian was raised in the province and a well loved native in the eyes of all Boholinos. Prior to winning the title of Miss Bohol last year, she was a tourism officer in the municipality of Tubigan. 
and she is tailor-made for tasks that involve promotion of the tourist spots beyond Chocolate Hills and the Tarsiers. She articulates herself well and in an engaging manner at that. Her heart is in the right place and the kindness, sincerity in her overall disposition can be felt in an instant. It will only take a short time before people in the national pageant will appreciate her true beauty inside and out. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra Lemonon and I'm a fine arts graduate representing Tagig City. At number 6. Sandra Lemonon. Sandra Lemonon is 25 years old and stands 175 centimeters tall. She has graduated with a degree in fine arts from Escola Portuguesa de Macau in Macau, China and now works as a part-time model and is a baker by profession. Sandra Lemonon is not new to the pageantry world as she participated in Miss World Philippines 2016 and was placed as the fourth runner-up. The diva tried her luck at Bini Bining Filipinas 2018 where she was placed at top 15. She is close friends with Miss Universe 2018 Katrina Gray and gained attention due to her response at the Bini Bining Filipinas 2018's question and answer round. At number 5. Maria Isabel Galeria. Maria Isabel Galeria has made it to this year's edition as she will represent the province of Sorsogon at Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Residing in Manila, Maria Isabel has completed her schooling from Matnog National High School. Maria aspired to become a doctor because coming from Sorsogon, she was aware of the struggles and grievances of the general public to gain access to basic health care. She then took admission in medical college and graduated at the University of the East Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center with a degree in nursing and now is a registered nurse. An amalgamation of beauty with brains, Maria is definitely a favorite this year for the crown. Maria's pageant journey has also been quite interesting as she participated in Miss Mandalu Leong 2019 pageant. My name is April Smith, a dynamic athlete from the festive island of the province of Cebu. At number 4. April Smith. April Smith stands 175 centimeters tall and primarily hails from Cebu. She is now 24 years of age and also is an amazingly beautiful and talented starlet. In 2016 the diva joined the Binibining Pilipinas and was ended up being placed in the top 15. As we already know, the diva is no new to pageantry as before her momentous win as the first Bini Binning Cebu in 2017, Smith joined a couple of pageants in and outside of Cebu. She was crowned Miss Du Manjug 2011, Miss Cebu City Olympics 2012, Sinulog Festival Queen 2012 and Miss Badian 2015. She was also placed third runner-up in the Miss Mandawa 2013 and first runner-up in the Rain and Nang Alawan 2017. Marabahay na hapon sa inyo kapos. I am Sigrid Grace Flores, a missionary from the Happy Island, Itanduanes. At number 3. Sigrid Grace Flores. Sigrid is a gorgeous Filipina who was born in Cavite, grew up in Catanduanes and Iloilo. She currently resides in Quezon City, Philippines. The diva has studied bachelors in mass communication at Central Philippine University and also political science at University of the Philippines in the Visayas. She truly is a beauty with brains. 
Sigrid is no stranger to the binabining Pilipinas pageant as she took part in the 55th edition of the national pageant and made her spot in the list of top 25 contestants. She believes that we all are capable of helping others despite the size of our wallets. She claims that we live do not live in time anymore when only rich people could help, which is why her advocacy has always been philanthropic leadership. Number 2. A Laser Floor Malinau. A Laser Floor Malinau has become the official representative of Davao City for Miss Universe Philippines 2020 after she was confirmed at the red carpet presentation held today in Manila. A Laser is 26 years old and stands 175 centimeters tall and is a psychology graduate and now works as a professional model who walked in various fashion shows. A laser is not new to the pageantry world as she participated in Bini Binning Filipinas 2015 and later was seen at Asia's Next Top Model Season 4 where she represented Philippines. But unfortunately she was bowed out of the regional modeling search and lost in Elite Model Look Asia. Even though she couldn't win the pageants her zeal or desire to represent Philippines at Miss Universe 2020 brought her My name is Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabal. I'm a professional volleyball player and I am representing Quezon City. Quezon Province. At number one, Michelle Gomabao. Michelle Gomabao is 27 years old and stands 177 centimeters tall. She is the daughter of former PBA player and actor Dennis Roldan and sitter of actor Marco Gombao. Michelle Gombao stepped into the world of beauty pageants in 2018 when she was confirmed to be competing for the title of Bini Binning Filipinas 2018 pageant. She was crowned as Bini Binning Filipinas Globe 2018 and represented Philippines at Miss Global 2018. Even though she didn't win the title of Miss Globe 2018 but was placed at top 15 and was adjudged with the title of Miss Social Media and Dream Girl. <laughs> 